going to do two rotisserie chickens. We're going to do one with a butter injection and the other one without. So we're using this stuff today. Got this at the Finch Market. We'll do a little review on how good it is as well. It's uh, sweet and tasty chicken and rib rub. So it's also gluten free. It was on sale when we purchased it. I think it's made by Prairie Barbecue. So what we're gonna do, we'll start off by getting it's two sticks of butter, put it in here, melt it all down. We'll do that now. Alright, so that's getting cooked up. What we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna put one tablespoon of the rub right into the butter, mix it all up, and we're gonna inject that into one of these birds. Uh, we'll also season all of the outside of it. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'll go to the sink, take these all out, and get them ready. Just take a chunk here. So usually, I don't usually do this without the wings. So I usually tie a knot like that, and then I knot it to this I guess, I don't know what they call it, tailbone or something like that, basically. And then we'll go back around, not one more time. This way they don't flop around all over the place while they're on the rotisserie. Mixer. Right. Okay, so we got the butter here. Gonna mix it up good. So we'll do a tablespoon and a half. There. Tablespoon and a half. I'll put that aside for now. Alright, so that's mixed well. Just cheap dollar store injector. I usually just inject the breast, but we're going to inject everything. I want to see if I can get the flavor of this in every single piece of this chicken. Now you don't want a large needle, you want something nice and small. wrap the chickens in tin foil just so that they don't burn especially with all the spices and seasonings that you put on it um, so we'll wait about half half the cooking time about an hour hour and a half for them to cook and then the last half an hour we'll pull it off put some glaze on or put some more seasoning and then we will let it uh, rotisserie uh, just to get the rest of the color basically of the bird let's try this out here liberal coating of this stuff all over. down and one upside right and I like to put them like this this way you're not piercing the breast meat as much all right so through the first one get through the second one here just like that so we want to center it up and jab this one right in grab this one push it right in there and get the other claw. Put the claw right in here like that. Now, I like to jam really tight up against each other and tighten it up. I do have a pair of pliers in case it gets loose a little bit when we're cooking. 
third. Tin foil. I'll grab this guy. Put it on here. Now I'll take the tin foil. I like to just basically take one end, one side of it, wrap it all up like that, and then I'm just going to roll the rest of it over. Wrapped it around. We'll find that string again. We will tie this off. Be right back. I'll go put this on the barbecue. All right, guys. So here's the chicken. It's been on the rotisserie now for about an hour or so. All right, guys. So this is what it's looking like right now. seasoning and we'll put some more seasoning on top of it and then we'll let it get nice and golden. Alright again we're gonna put some of this sweet and tangy chicken and rib on. This is from the Finch Market everyone. Get yourself some. Alright so it's coated pretty well. I got the heat set at about 300. We'll leave it at that and we'll come back. Alright guys, so that's what it looks like. Nice picture there of the back burner. Just smoking. If you can see the chicken, it looks amazing. I'm going to stop the rotisserie for a second. Can you see all the juice dripping off of that? The chicken turned out awesome. The one that we injected with the butter and spice rub ended up being amazing. If you want to try some new rubs or spices, stop in at the Finch Market where they literally have an entire aisle of spices and rubs. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked our videos. If you liked it that much, please hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notifications so you get updates on the new videos.